I'm Chris Duke, and this is Motor. installing a trunk lid mat from Grand Mat Designs into my 2008 Ford Mustang GT. The custom trunk lid mat from Grand Design Mat is uh, color coded to match the car, dark candy apple red. It came with these extensions and the necessary hardware to install into my trunk lid. Necessary tools for installation are going to be a plastic pry tool, a spring-loaded center punch or an awl to mark or a quarter inch drill bit and I've also marked uh, with tape the depth of a quarter of an inch because you don't want to drill too far deep uh, pop into the top of the trunk lid. Also going to need a marker or a grease pencil and probably some masking tape would be a good good thing to have and then a drill driver, cordless, corded, your goal. First thing you want to do is detach the black wire loom from the trunk lid, and this can be easily done by leaning the bracket over to one side and pushing the black tabs with a plastic small object, and like that. Once the clips are detached, you can either remove them or leave them on here. The loom will be placed behind the mat, and the mat itself is going to hold this loom. But how you remove these is on the back side, it has a small tab, and you push that down and pop it out. The 90 degree plastic part on the corner of the wire loom here is a little different than what the instructions show so what I'm gonna do basically you need to keep the 90 degree part in there but what I'm gonna do is uh, come in and snip this barb off you still won't need this 90 degree piece once you get the wiring loom detached you're gonna end up using these two stock factory holes so what you need to do is get your trunk mat and position it up, lining it up with those stock factory holes. Let's just keep this out of the way for now. But once you get that lined up to match the factory holes, you need to take your marker and mark this hole, this hole, and this hole. Because we're going to drill those out. You might have to use some masking tape to help hold this up or grab a friend. Once you've marked your holes, take your center punch and make sure that that hole is in the center of that structure, away from the edge. And you want a center punch. Just give your drill bit somewhere to start so that you don't walk across the metal. One tip is that you don't want to drill the holes with the mat up here and drill through the hole in the mat. The carpet could, material could snag on this drill bit and unravel and basically tear your mat apart. So you want to mark it, take it off, and drill it without the mat in place. One tip when drilling your holes for your trunk like that is to get a magnet to catch any of the shape. Before placing the mat, on the trunk lid, I went ahead and laid out where the wire loom is going to come through. And to help hold that up and in place, I'm going to put a couple pieces of tape on the wire loom. You want to make sure that this 90 degree piece is pointed out towards you. If that's not fitted correctly, it could cause the gasket trunk seal to leak when it rains. One thing you want to do these supplied uh, hardware uh, push bolts with uh, matching carpeted heads. You want to make sure you don't want to push these in all the way just yet until you get proper fitment because these are one use bolts. So basically line up your holes and start them in 
once you get a couple of them in, once you know everything's lined up, you can go ahead and press in your push bolts. Make sure everything is snug and secure. I purchased the uh, trunk lid extensions that go up here to cover these and basically you'll slide these in and they're a force fit. So that's basically in. And let's come around to this side. Pop that one in. What's wrong? Oh, I'm heat Come on, it's only like 105 with the heat index. Pansy. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Moved on me. <laughs> Motors TV. Okay, we're just gonna cut, cut that out. <laughs> and remember, measure twice, cut once, and hammer to fit. tabs on each side of that tab. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Ow. Attach this plastic, black plastic. Okay. Yes, dear. Come on, really? He just left. <laughs> Can you get me a mat? <laughs> there he is, pulling up. <laughs> My new trunk mat came with a special feature. With a trunk monkey. Mm-hmm.